Ah, hi, welcome back to Coffee Talk Day 13. She sometimes I wonder she's always in there. Then she comes in with us, like when we open the cafe, she comes in too. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, Pop. Good evening, everyone. Uh, uh, my throat is not in that condition. I cannot do the deep or sound for Georgie. Good evening, everyone. Everyone safe and sound tonight. S so far, so good, officer. Who the cop was supposed to be watching this area hanging out in the coffee shop? I'm not so sure about that. Hey, I'm working right now. Yeah, smoking and drinking coffee, that's what a cop do. I just love multitasking, you know. That requires kill. Taking a break and working at the same time, you mean? You know it. That's oxymoron. What the hell is an oxymoron? That's why I say it requires kill. Anyways, Alpha. I really need an espresso to keep me awake tonight. I remember that. It's all coffee, right? Is that an espresso? No, no. And an, an energetic espresso to keep our officer upright on patrol. Uh, you and your sense of humor. Your espresso are always out of this world. Definitely better than mine or my wife's. Am I better than your wife? That it? Sorry. It's not a competition, officer. Ah, it is for her. She thought if she could make a better one, I stopped coming to this place so often. That's not happening anytime soon. So, anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe, though. What are you grinding about? I mean it. You were here the last two days, right? Yes, I was. And some crazy things happened here. And two days in a row. As if the gods were trying to give me first-hand experience. To use in my story. Still writing over your story, huh? Eh? Well, the deadline for my drive is getting nearer. Oh, yeah. How's it going? Quantity-wise, it's shaping up pretty well. Quality-wise, honestly, it's rock bottom. Oh yeah, I'm pretty confident. I thought it was rock bottom. Best of luck then. Do you have any updates about the last two days of chaos? For the world of case, I spoke to Gala about it. What? Are you going to arrest him? Some officers at the prison were talking about it. But in the end, we agreed not to do it. Because it really helped a lot that night. We asked the folks in the hospital and some other people in the area. Without him, we'd have... We have well, we have had a lot more problems. It helped a lot, getting most of the world was safe in the hospital. Too bad he couldn't lock himself up in time. Thankfully, he didn't have anyone. Hey, you should thank me to that. So those who rather detain him can't do anything. Whew. I'd be pretty mad of you if they did arrest him. Uh, where's my thank you? I'm the one who. Calm him down with my coffee. Hey, being bad, I mean, won't serve, wouldn't save anything. I know I cannot read tonight what happened to me. What about righteous dad? Any idea what happened? I'm not too sure myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seems like it happened out near Coachella. That's a long way away. I mean, it's not actually that far. But he wouldn't be able to walk it. Not in that state. So far, that's all I know. Is that her? Yeah, that's her. Huh? Rachel? Rachel? Is Mr. Henry alright? Before that, could I have a cup of hot chocolate dark? Hot chocolate? Just all chocolate, is that it? No, I'm not trying to open Tomodachi. Yeah. Dark chocolate, 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 chocolate. Brew that. The hot chocolate's ready. Thank you. 
She looks so scowling and then depressed so suddenly. That going to be fine. He woke up this afternoon. Thanks to Mr. Gala. Oh, Mr. Gala is the one we're trading him. Uh, yeah, and a trophy, nice. He got help fast enough to stop things getting worse. He's doing okay then? He'll take a few days before he fully recovers. But no permanent injuries we need to worry about. That's good to hear. I know. But still, it's all because of me. Because I didn't listen to him. When all he wanted to do was protect me. Rachel, don't blame yourself for this. Please don't take offense. But is it okay for you to leave your father alone in the hospital? His friends are there at the moment. And I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't even know right now. Besides, I really need to get away for a bit. So I told dad I'm gonna visit coffee talk to get some fresh air. Hey. The nicest place in the world. He's okay with that? He understands. He always does, I guess. Miss Rachel, what really happened last night? I got into the fight with some thugs. He heard them talking about me in some very suggestive, perverted ways. Oh, he didn't like that, of course. So he morphed into his cat form. What a dad. Uh, he knew he would get beaten up but... and started a fight with the thugs. Why, why did he morph? So people wouldn't see what his human form looked like. Oh, I get it. And link him directly to me. Some cops went to the crime scene. They found some eyewitness to testify, and I managed to find the thugs. Are they a fan of yours? No. It's even worse. They work for Mr. Lester. What? Yeah. Oh boy. The reason why it didn't take long for the cops to find them was because they were already under arrest. Because the party went too far last night. Whoa. How did it all connect up? They are Mr. Lester bodyguards. They were chilling after the show, having a pre-party before the big one. And you know about guys and locker room talk, right? No, the locker room talk is... I don't get, get it about locker room talk. Like, really? Did, did guys? I mean, me and my friends never talk about what, we, what people are calling locker room talk. We never talk. I feel like it's such a weird thing to talk about. Because if you talk about a girl you like with your friends, it's, it's still normal, but locker room talk is more than that, right? That's more disgusting. Yeah. Well, that's what they were doing. And almost the topic of discussion, see? Ah. So that's that. See? It's just weird, isn't it? Talk about some thing like that with your friends. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I'm sorry to hear that. And you were right about his party. I'm glad I wasn't there. Once again, I owe that for... Hey, it's okay. The most important thing right now is that you're safe. And your dad made it through. I should have listened to him. He might be out of touch. But still way more experienced than me. And he's my father. I wish mom were here. She know what to do. She know what to say to dad when he's recovered. You know what? I'm sure you know what to do. You're an adult, remember? But I don't know. All I know is I have to be there for him when... That's it. That's all you have to do. It might be weird to hear it about something coming from Freya. But she is right. Be there when he needs you, Rachel. And whenever you need a breath of fresh air, you can come here and relax for a while and buy my coffee, yes. Give me money. Guys, thank you. I have had enough fresh air for one day. I'll go back to the hospital now. Thank you for the update, Miss Rachel. I wish your father a speedy recovery. Thank you, Zalva. Nice. Oh, is that it? We will see them again? Well, Miss, Mr. Henry is fine, suddenly woke up from the hospital and then I need a coffee. From coffee talk shop. What a weekend. Pretty crazy, I know. Anyway, I've got to continue my patrol. It's been a pretty weird weekend. I gotta keep my... Smoking while walking outside. But overall, things are still safe around here. But even with that, never let your guard down, okay? No problem, officer. Thank you for checking up on us, uh, checking up on us officer Georgie. Okay, then, see you.
Are you going to leave as well, Freya? I don't think so. I find enough rest. And I have stories to write. You're not tired? Definitely not. In fact, I think I can get it done today. Ooh. Overflowing with ideas, huh? I'm alright. I won't bother you then. I am never a bother. Besides, this whole book project will never have existed without this place. And you. So thank you, yes. Please buy my coffee. The pleasure was mine. Now I'm sure you shouldn't spend any more time on chit chat. You've got a book to finish. <laughs> no problem, boss. That was a fast one. 11 minutes. So this is day 14. Maybe I'll do day 14 in this video too. Day 13 and day 2 weeks later. It's not day 14, it's... 2 weeks later. Will we see everyone? <clears throat> Coachella Festival proves to be a major boost for Seattle tourism. I think every big festival will be a major boost for tourism. More women have spoken out and claimed Maurice Lester lied. Maurice Lester is the manager, right? Initial reports indicate possible her- Ew! Yeah. That's what happens when you when there's a fucking sex party. Ah, uh, there they are. Hello. My God, you're finally here. Hello. Hi, hey, 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 hey. Huh? Someone's feeling happy today. Of course. Did they? They approve it. I'm so happy for you. Congrats. Oh my. Do you know how happy I am? Judging from your expression, I see somewhere between aesthetically and rapturously. What is that word? What is rapturously? You got them right. Oh my god, oh my god. How did they react to the drive? Uh, it is, should be my fault. Surprisingly, they liked it. That's amazing. I know, right? I couldn't believe it either. They told me if the book sells well. <laughs> Why is Aqua suddenly like that? No, definitely it's time for a second book. I'm so happy for you. Anyway, whatever happens with the book now, I can take things a little slower, because they gave me a year to finish it, with a feedback session every month. Oh, sounds professional though. Of course, they are the biggest publisher around. Enough about me, how's the coffee shop been doing? It's been great. We had a lot of new customers lately, and some old timers of course. I heard Heist back from his trip to Korea. No, oh. <sighs> I cannot read some. Yeah. He brought us some gifts back. He didn't get any for me? I'm not sure, but he did say he always gives this directly. Uh, directly. Give, give in the old fashioned way, huh? How about you? Things are great. The last time I saw you was before your mini break? Yeah, we decided to go to Coachella. Wow! There even was a mess. <laughs> yeah, three hours at the festival was enough for us. So where did you go after that? We ended up in Port Townsend. How was it? I enjoy it. Never knew a historical trip could be fun. Oh yeah, I saw your new profile picture, Aqua. Your boat looks so cute. Oh man. <laughs> thanks. Was that taken during your vacation? No, it was at Max. They had a Japanese style photo booth there. Ah, uh, now I want to see it. That's still the same. Still the same. Still the same, still the same. Is this it? No, this is the old one. This is Rachel, still the same. Neil. Oh, and this one. Haha. <laughs> so I forced have to take a picture together. You were a Max to model? Yeah. I'll help her out a little a bit with the booth. Thank you. Hmm? You don't have to keep thanking me. By the way, have any of you heard from Neil? No? Not me. Daddy sent a postcard to the coffee shop. Really? Yeah, one's from Coachella. That's not even that far away. Why send a postcard? Hard to tell with them. What about the second one? It's from New York. What? What are they doing in New York? Beats me. Working on their mission, maybe. <laughs> Working on their mission. 
<laughs> yeah, probably. There's time more of a chance there. Why? Why in New York they have a chance? Anyway, guys, we're leaving for the night. Oh, come on. So soon? Yeah. We were here for hours before you arrived. I mean, it's to work tomorrow. Fair enough. Take care on your way then. Good luck with the novel. Thanks. See you, Zalpha. See you around. Ah, the sloshing son. They look happier than when I first met them. They do. It's not easy to find someone you can be comfortable with in such a short amount of time. Yeah. Anyway. Are you still here? Sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring you, Baileys. No worries. I don't feel ignored at all. Are you by yourself tonight? No, I'm waiting for Lua. She has some work to do. This late at night? Yeah. She's been doing overtime for the past few days. How are the two of you doing? Things have been great. In fact, after 10 years together, we're finally moving in together next month. Nice. Oh, congrats. But I Lua lived with her flatmate. We're moving to a new place. She got promoted recently, and her company is providing her with an apartment. Wow, she must really, really big deal in her office. Well, she, def like, she definitely earns more than me. Earns more than a model? I thought the model has a big... Ugh. Got some huge money, but maybe sh she's a director at some uh, company, some shit. That's not saying much, Baileys. Uh, you shouldn't say that to a fellow freelancer. Or is she come? Oh, oh. He's not the model, I forgot, he's a freelancer. The model is height. Baileys, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect it to take so long. I thought it would be done by. Honey, it's alright. Freya and Zalfa are keeping you company anyway. Oh, hey, Freya and Zalfa. Sorry for budging when I was saying hi. How's it going? I would say things are great. But not as great as you two lovebirds. It's all her already? Only about the moving in part. Eh, <laughs> as if her. We're going to move in together next month. Where is it? Not far. I mean, the company provided the place. So they want to cut my commuting costs as much as possible. That's tough for them. It means they don't need to reimburse my taxi fees when I'm working overtime, yeah, of course. Oh yeah, that too. It also means you get to visit this place more often. That's a good point, yeah, and buy me, buy my coffee more, please. We have this coffee shop a lot anyway. Don't mention it. Just buy my coffee, it's fine. Sorry. I have a question for both of you. Go on. The last time we met, I believe you were going to introduce Bailey's to your- Oh shit. Sorry. So your parents, how did it go? Meh. Her father didn't kill me at least. Well, at least Papa let you eat lunch with us. That's rare, you know. I know. And at least they didn't say no. Which means a lot, I guess. It was a good start. It was definitely a good start. Anyway, Bailey's, we need to go now. So soon? Or we'll miss the intro again. Your folks going somewhere? Yeah, we're going to watch the midnight screening of Full Metal Conflict. I didn't take you with likes FMC, Lua. I don't, but it's got lost it. I always wa enjoy watching me playing the game. I enjoy watching you, not the game. <laughs> it's, this is like when you watch a YouTuber but you don't watch the game. You watch a uh, YouTuber gameplay because you just like hearing the commentator. Sometimes I do that. Too bad I didn't introduce you to Marla just now, Baileys. She worked on the game. Really? Oh well, I'll be visiting this place more often. I'll probably meet her again one of these days. Yeah, probably will. Now go, you lovebirds. I don't want to miss the movie. Alright, catch you up with you later, Freya. Bye, Zalfa. Enjoy the movie. Awesome. There they go. So happy for them. They still got a long way to go, and probably a lot of obstacles in their path. But they're moving forward. Yes. How will you write this story? As it is, it's beautiful enough. As it, and it has enough drama. And it has enough drama. Ha! Huh. That's one way to put it. Anyway. What's that look for? You haven't told me about any of our other friends here. How are they doing? 
You only skip coming for 10 days. What do you expect? Come on, that played an important part in my writing process, remember? Well, there are some updates about the regulars. Tell me, tell me. Where should we start? What? Uh, so how are you doing? This is an awkward time. The loading time is very long. Are you fine? Doing fine on your... Ah, okay, there you go. Lua faces this place more often now that they live nearby. The last thing they came, they were talking about Catherine and Venus. I had returned from his trip to Korea and brought gifts, some are more special than others. Oh. He said he's considering moving back to Seattle if his agency loves it. Is that a cough? Maybe for when the, the full moon. Aqua continues her work with the university. She's still working on small indie games. The difference is now she's not alone now. Myrtle is just behind her. Neil, what is he doing? Oh. Has he successful finding a woman? <laughs> the only news about their superhero breeding mission are the po two postcards they sent me. Rachel is back at the recording studio preparing for her first solo album. Is it with her dad? Yes! She found a new manager, someone who made the news as a legend coming back to the industry. Damn. And finally Freya, she finished her book, get published and have some signing session. Well, everyone has a happy ending. It was a massive success, sold out even after the full printing and might be adapted to a movie, blah 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 blah. Nice. Wow. That's the end. Nice simple game. And it's, and it, this is an indie game, right? But my... Not a lot of people. Well, actually, there's more than 10. I thought this is like an indie, indie game. Maybe they are a little company. This Toge production. Yeah, there's a lot of people. I think there's more than 20 people there. CEO, yeah, there's a CEO and COO, of course. This is a small company. And it's still a company. Konami Digital Entertainment. I didn't know Konami, Konami has a part in this. I, I like the, the, the game, I like it. It's a simple visual novel, I like visual novel game. It's just... Sometimes when, I mean, when you're too tired to play action game... I mean, you're tired of dying in Dark Souls. <laughs> Things like that. You just want to play a game where you just follow the story, and the story. I mean, the story uh, is a happy one. There's not too much drama. There's not too much. There's no annoying characters. They're all just lovely characters, just talking to each other, and you know, dealing with their life. Just it's just fun. <laughs> Just fun to read, just fun to play. It just makes you happy, you know. You don't get angry because of you know, losing or dying in game a lot. Just happy, happy. And you, thank you. So, I, I guess that's it for this game then. I, I finished it already, 14 days. Um, or maybe this is not the end. There's still more. Who the frick is this? Is that Hyde? Is he becoming a doctor? Welcome. Hello, Zalpha. Good evening, sir. Uh, have we met before? I'm sure this is your first time here. Of course I've been here. In fact, I've worked here before. I've worked here? Is that Neil? What? He looks so handsome. Wait, no way. 
Is that really you? That no, it's, that's Nell. It's been it's been a while. You've changed a bit too much. I've learned about how to live with your people since then. I assume it was a success and yeah, he looks cool. He is a doctor now. I, I hope he's a doctor, not just wearing a doctor uniform. Of course we will get on with the ladies. Multiple successes. What's with the new look then? Just trying to blend in. It seems like an thing immigration agency is after me. <laughs> okay, he, maybe, I, I don't think he is a doctor that is just wearing a doctor uniform. Now that you mention it, somebody did visit this place looking for you. When was it? Not so long after your second visit here. Was he a bald guy in a suit? Yeah, of course, every agent is a bald guy in a suit. Yeah, yes, that fire agent. You've seen him? Yes, thankfully, I've changed my appearance since then. By the way, you can drop the act in front of me. So, you finally noticed. To think that such power can be born from our kind. You're good with your act though. It took a few tries, but there are some timelines. There are some timelines? What? Where well, I forget to pretend that I don't have some knowledge of certain stuff. Uh, interesting. Now I'm curious to know about those mistakes. Well, it happened a few times. First, when Freya told me about her meeting in the elevator. Then it was the first time Rachel visited this place. And the last one involved you on your second visit. Huh? Oh, and there was another one right after Freya got her draft approved. Can you show it to me? Assuming you know how I communicate with my kind. Never tried it, but let's see. What the fuck is that? What? Why does some shitty mystery suddenly at the end? What? That's supposed to be Neil, right? What is that ending? Okay, I'm gonna do... So maybe this is not the last episode. I'm gonna do one more episode just to find out what happened there. There should be more, I think. I'm gonna find search it on the internet. So I think that's all for today for this episode. Uh, see you on the next episode for I think the last episode, the real last episode. Uh, bye bye.